looks like now we know what the next cool feature from Tesla is going to be. And uh, as you can see from the still shot, and I'll show you a video in a little bit, a hacked version of Tesla uh, is able to stop on looks like quite a few red lights on its own. Now, there's a feature that's uh, kind of a pre-feature. Pre uh, that that Tesla is rolling out right now, which I think uh, I think is pretty cool as well. It just basically is warning you that you're coming up to a red light. I'm going to show you a video with that as well. And I got to tell you, these these new autopilot features that are being rolled out, like in the last few weeks, are really truly amazing. Now, Elon really wasn't kidding when 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 he told us that we're going to be uh, blown away from uh, by them. So I'm going to show you a few videos. We're going to talk about it. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If you want to stay up to date on all of that cool and amazing stuff, we do it here every day. So all you have to do is hit on that subscribe button down there. It's free. And most importantly, you will become a part of this amazing community. All right. This picture looks very normal. A car stopping at the red light. But if you see in that little right here, um, you will see that uh, it's Tesla. Um, I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit like right here. As you can see, Tesla now can recognize, at least in this hacked version, that there is a red light and it will actually stop the car. Now, it's not available right now. just want to make sure that it's very clear. This is something that got hacked. Um, you know, there's this one guy and, and I think his name is Very Green and his YouTube channel and that's where the video was posted is called Green the Only. So he actually figured out how to hack it uh, and, and started testing it and it's actually very cool. I think we literally can see the future. So I'll show it to you in a few, um, in a few minutes. But for now, there is a, a just a red light warning. And here's a video for that. Check this out. <laughs> Now let's do it one more time so you can see what it sounds like and looks like. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, and, and by the way, this is uh, from uh, the, from the that the uh, the channel name. Now I completely forgot, so I'm gonna have to play it one more time so I can. Uh, tell you what the channel name is, which is Autopilot Review. That's the name of the channel. But as you can see, when the car is approaching to uh, the intersection, it, it you know the little uh, the little graphics shows you that there is a light. It says a red light, and basically it makes a sound just like when you know it makes a sound when you're just about to hit a car in front of you, right? I think we've all seen and heard that if we're driving if you guys are driving a tesla um so and that's pretty cool now from what i understand and there are qu quite a few videos out there that that people are already getting the feature and testing it it doesn't do it every time you know it just like it doesn't always do it every time when you're just about to hit something right um but it's definitely get, going to get better and it is out there like right it's obviously like the first step of that now, I was mentioning uh, uh, Elon's tweet, as, as you remember, uh, uh, this is back on December 9th. Uh, he was basically saying that they're testing the traffic lights. Um, and then he said, your Tesla will soon be able to go from your garage at the home to parking at uh, work with no driver input at all. So that was another amazing feature that uh, we just saw, right? With uh, um, No, that's not it. Here it is. I don't know what I'm doing with my stack today. But um, this is another feature uh, that you guys seen me do a whole video about. And this probably I'm the most excited about. Like this is an amazing feature where you can see that car pulls out of the parking spot by itself and then basically meets its owner up front, wherever he is, in front of his office, in front of his uh, uh, co coffee shop or whatever. So I'm absolutely excited about it. And all of these features are coming out right now, like the future is now. You know how people say that? It's actually true. All right. So now, but let me show you the video of the hacked uh, um, Tesla that were actually, it's going to be stopping by. And I think quite a few uh, times that it did it. Before that, of course, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Accelerate Auto, the third party extended warranty for your electric cars, up to 125,000 mile coverage, uh, only $100 deductibles. And just for us guys, for this community, uh, you can grab yourselves a $100 discount code. It's in the description of this video. Figure out which state you're in. I think that's an easy part. And then you click on the link and apply for this. So, and let me know how your experience is with these guys. But I know a lot of people have been enjoying their service. All right, so let's watch uh, this video. Um, which is, oh, again, this is a hacked version, but check this out, right? So, um, and, and, and the video is like seven or eight minutes long. So this, this is like tons and tons of different red lights that he is approaching. So in this case, uh, and I turned the sound off by the way, but you see it's approaching the uh, red light 
it appears on the screen right here um, and the car stops. And I think that's absolutely amazing. It is, I mean, the fact that it's it's happening and don't forget Tesla, you know, Elon said a, a, a while back that this is all artificial intelligence. This is not necessarily everything's mapped and the signals are coming from the lights because when I was in Vegas at CES, um, there, was a, there was a few different demos. Um, here it is again. See the little red light on the bottom left that he's putting in there? Boom. And the car just stops. That is freaking amazing. Um, anyway, so when I was on CES, uh, there were a bunch of different companies uh, showcasing their cars, but they said, okay, well, in Vegas, the, the lights have a communicate with cars and all that stuff. This is all artificial intelligence. This is the car basically seeing the light, figure out where the red light is, um, and then stopping depending on where the lanes are. I mean, again, this is true AI, and I cannot be more excited about it. All right, let's talk about positives and negatives right now. All right, so the positive is this is a huge win. And I know this feature is still coming up and you know, hopefully we'll have it by the, well, we, I, I have AP1, but people will have it by the end of the year. Um, to me, this is a true revolution of technology and it's usually enabled by electric cars. Um, and because people who make electric cars, usually they're into technology. People who buy electric cars are into technology. This is a, such an amazing showcase of that. And I absolutely love it. Again, with that a parking lot summon feature, which, you know, has its own issues. This is absolutely a stunning and and I and I hope this is just keeps moving forward more and more and more. I've been very critical of Tesla Autopilot because they couldn't even catch up to Mobile Eye, the company that they used to uh, use for the Autopilot One. It took them over two years to catch up, but now it looks like they got the new hardware uh, and the new software. They're really actually able to kick butt, and I really, really am starting to to get really abused by it. Um, so that's just 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 awesome. Now the only negative thing is obviously is that you know I, it has to be bulletproof, right? This technology cannot make one mistake because first of all, if it makes one mistake, and even if human would have made the same mistake, boy, you know it's going to be all over the place. And well, Teslas are killing people and running red lights, you know, uh, no one's going to check how many red lights are ran across the country uh, uh, annually and how people die, you know, the red lights if they, you know, without this, but, but you know, it's going to be a problem. So a feature like this, I just don't know, like they have to be a hundred percent sure. So I, I mean, I, this, this needs to be perfect. So uh, I think that's the only negative that I see is that people are going to be expecting it. Um, and maybe they'll have to release it and saying, well, you still have to kind of, uh, you know, pay attention yourself and people won't, they fall asleep, they'll be on the phone and, um, and this can lead to some negative publicity. But really, to be honest with you, that's the only negative that I see. Everything else is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section what do you guys think. Maybe your car already has one of those warnings, the red light warnings. Let me know how your experience has been. Like, does it? How, what's the percentage of it recognizing the red lights, right? That's essentially what the test is. Um, I also want to uh, thank one of my newer Patreons, Marvin Burr. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. That's the only place where you can watch me live. So, and, you know, thank you to uh, Marvin and the rest of my uh, uh, Patreon gang for supporting and contributing to my channel. I'm an independent full-time YouTuber, so this is extremely important, and I thank you guys for that. Um, if you want to become a part of that community, boom, right here, patreon.com slash e4electric. This link is also in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged.